Hello guys, how are we all doing? We're back for predictions for this World Cup and it's now the knockout stages. How good were the World Cup group stages, Sophie? Honestly, ridiculous. Honestly. It's so entertaining so far. Keep your predictions coming, guys. This is the latest in the predictions league and it's going to hot up as we go into the knockout stages. Can I just say, before this video is brought to you, to download that link down in the description because we are sponsored by OneFootball. Now, we've said OneFootball have got so much going on during the World Cup, so don't miss out. These games have been brilliant and OneFootball Football's been covering it. Live match reports, tickers, lineups, all the details and stats you'll want for this World Cup. So download the link down in the description to keep up to date with One Football. Let's get into these knockout games, Sophie. Starting with Netherlands versus USA. Now both teams have gone through their groups without losing a game. It's quite interesting. USA did it the hard way, winning their final game. Mm -hmm. Netherlands put aside Group A, which I'm not going to try and take too much away from Netherlands, but I don't think it was the toughest group. I think Netherlands might come unstuck here. There's been so many shocks in this World Cup, and I'm going to go for one here. Netherlands nil, USA won. Oh, wow. No, I think the Netherlands are going to win for me. I do think it's going to be um, a fairly evenly matched game, but when it comes down to it, the Netherlands just have too much class for me. So they're going to, they're going to go through 2-1. 2-1. Okay, on to the next one. Argentina face Australia. This is an interesting one. Australia did so well to recover after losing that first game against France. Back-to-back 1-0 -back wins. Defence all of a sudden looks tight, but similar to Argentina, they lost their first game. They bounced back with two wins. I think it will be the star power which carries Argentina through. I want to see Australia do it, and maybe they get on the score sheet, but I've got to back the favourites on this occasion. 2-1. See, I'm just going to say 1-0 Argentina. I think it's going to be quite a tight game, low-scoring game for me. But I don't want to take anything away from Australia because I've been really, really impressed. But I think this is as far as they're going to go. So 1-0 Argentina. Oh, OK. Right, on to the next one. The holders, France, take on Poland. Now, France got through their group, although they did lose their last game, but they did rotate that squad. Poland, meanwhile, squeezed through their group by the mm. skin of their teeth. I don't know how they did it. I have no idea how they did that. And I'm not filled with much confidence with them no. playing France here. I think France are going to win this game. I don't know what to expect from France. It does look like it could shape up to be France v England in the quarterfinals, but we'll wait and see what happens here. I'm going to back France 3-0. I'm going to say 2-0 France. I think they're looking very, very good at the moment. And I think they're going to be most people's favourites to win the whole thing. So for me, they're going to progress 2-0. 2-0. Right, on to the big one. England. And they take on Senegal. Now, Senegal did well to get through their group. They won two games. And... For England, there is going to be that expectancy to win it. I don't know whether we're going to make it look comfortable or if mm. we're going to struggle. But either way, I do think England will win this, whether it's comfortable or not. I think we do have enough to get past Senegal. If they had Mane, maybe it'd be a little bit more of a banana skin. But I just think England should be able to win this. Remember, we drew 0-0 with USA, so it's yeah. not a given. I think we'll win this, and I'm going to say 3-1. Yeah, I think we're going to win this as well, but I don't want to be a typical arrogant English fan and say, oh yeah, we're going to win this, this is a comfortable game, easy game, because I don't think it is. I don't think any games right now are easy, but I do see us progressing and hopefully another clean sheet, so 2-0. 2-0, wow. Okay, on to the next one, Japan, who topped that group, Group E. That was insane. And they face Croatia. This is a very tricky one to predict. Croatia... They're a solid team, aren't they? And they ended yeah. really well in their group. Ah, Japan, though. The thing is with Japan, they've beaten the big teams in their mm -hmm. group, Spain and Germany. Croatia are a big team, though. They're, they're a yeah. strong team. I think Croatia will be made slight favourites, but Japan have this about them where they just go for it against these big teams. Mm. And obviously, no yeah, it can't end in a draw. One of these teams will win. And I just love the way they chase. And I have the confidence in Japan to come back from losing positions. So I'm yeah. going to say Croatia might take the lead, but Japan 2-1. Ah, oh, see, as soon as you said there can't be a draw, I'm actually going to back a draw. Obviously, it's going to get, then go to Penn. So I'm going to say a 1-1 draw. I think it's going to be an entertaining game. But I'm going to say Japan qualify on penalties. Wow, yeah. that's mental. Okay, Japan go through on penalties. That would be dramatic. Make sure to get your predictions down below. Do you reckon any teams are going to win on penalties? On to the next one, Brazil versus South Korea. Now, South Korea squeezed their, through their group right mm. at the end. They did fantastic up against Brazil. 
oh, do you know what? There's been some shocks in this tournament, but I can't keep going for shocks. I think this will be one of those occasions where the favourites do come out on top. South Korea, it's been brilliant, and I want you to stay, but I think you've met your match. Brazil, 2-0. Yeah, again, not taking anything away from South Korea. That was a great win against Portugal to see them through. However, coming up against Brazil, it's a different kettle of fish. So for me, Brazil, 2-0. 2-0, wow. Okay, two games left. On to Morocco versus Spain. Morocco, top in their group. What is going on here? Them. Spain came second in their group. It's so weird. Spain won their first game 7-0, then they drew, then they lost. They seem to be regressing. But, I don't know, they'll be made slight favourites, but Morocco yeah. won their group, so we've got to give them credit. I'm really, really struggling here. I think this could be one of them that goes the full distance. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm genuinely 50-50 on this one. I'll mm. say... Uh, 1-0 Morocco in oh. extra time. Oh, okay, wow. I don't know. I've, I've been really, really impressed with Morocco, but also at times I've been impressed with Spain. And I just think Spain's experience kind of getting through competitions, that might benefit them. But I don't want to, I don't want to predict Morocco to lose. I'm going to have to there. I'm going to say they're going to score, but 2-1 Spain. On to the last one, Portugal versus Switzerland. This is going to be interesting. Portugal did pretty well in their group and then lost right at the end. And meanwhile, do you know what? This is going to be really tricky. It's been dramatic in these groups. I think Portugal are going to recover from that defeat to South Korea right at the end. They were already through, to be fair. Tight game. Not going to take anything away from either team. 1-0 Portugal. Yeah, I agree. I think Portugal are going to progress. Um, I think their defeat against South Korea was probably because they rested some of their better players. So they're obviously going to go all out in this one. And I see them winning as well, 1-0. 1-0 one nil. One nil to Portugal. Yeah. There you go. We're both agreeing on that one. Do you agree? Get your predictions down below. If you haven't already joined the Predictions League, do sign up to the Patreon. But make sure your predictions keep coming. We'll update you with the Predictions League table when we're back for the quarterfinals next week. Do like, do subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.